Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from wordtesters.com. Welcome back to another unboxing a ton of dope shit. So this time around, it's a very big toy haul. Uh, there are a few pairs of sneakers over here. Legitimately, there's three. And then we also got a brand new uh, Threadbeast item, which is really cool. And then my favorite pickups are the toys. But first, we're gonna get in a Threadbeast because this is the biggest box here, and I've been dying to open it and see what's inside. Now real quick, if you're not familiar with Threadbeast.com, basically what it is, it's a streetwear subscription service. They have three basic plans, or not three basic plans, they have three simple plans. There's the basic plan, the essential plan, and the premium plan. 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 Each one of them has a different set of items, not just the quantity, but also the quality. Depending on the stuff that you pick, you basically have a style guide. You can pick any type of style that you want, whether it be preppy or sporty, fashionable, trendy, all that kind of stuff. So all of that's gonna be accumulated within your, your style planner, per se. And then they'll send you a box every month and it'll be full of a bunch of cool stuff that you'll most likely like. If you are a first timer, all you gotta do is use my promo code. And what that'll do is get you $50 worth of additional bonus items within your first Threadbeast package. So now that I'm done explaining what Threadbeast is, Let's go ahead and take a look. Woo. Okay, okay. Got some dope socks. And you know that they're dope because, well, it literally says it on there. It says dope. Turn that into a drinking game. Every time I say dope, take a shot. And if you're too young for shots, take a sip of water or something. I don't know. You got a nice hat right here. I've never heard of this brand. It's a snapback though. I like the back detailing. The little flap right there, that's pretty sweet. Got a belt. I've been needing a belt. So it's pretty cool that I got one. <laughs> These are one of those things, it's kind of like underwear. When you need them, you just always like kind of like bypass it. You're like, nah, I'll get underwear next time I'm at the store or whatever. And you never end up getting underwear. And then all of a sudden you got a bunch of holes in your crotch and your balls are hanging out. So I got a belt, been needing a belt. Now everybody doesn't have to go and see my ass when I wear pants. Got another dope shirt. And again, we know that it's dope because it says so on the front. It's actually a really cool one. It's got graphics on the back as well, and sleeve graphics. Pretty slick. I think this is chain link fence. Got another shirt. Pretty sick. I'm trying not to say dope. Now we got some preppy stuff here. I gotta go to work and get that button up going on. You know what I'm saying? Got some pants to go with my belt. <laughs> These are some olive green pants and uh, all these do is remind me of my best friend that passed away. I used to make fun of him because anytime I'd see him in these pants, I'd be like, yo, why are you wearing pea soup pants? <laughs> he used to get so mad at me. Oh man, good times, good times. Last item, we got a crew. This is probably my favorite thing in here. It's from Diamond Supply. Really nice quality. I love the extra detail on the bottom. Now this right here, this is dope shit. So that was all of the stuff that I got in my Threadbeast box. That was a premium box, by the way. So that's what the kind of stuff that you'll get if you go for the big stuff. But um, I've opened up smaller packages before. You can check that out somewhere in my channel. And again, use my code right here. And if it's your first purchase, you'll get $50 worth of extra goodies in your box. Pretty dope. Let's keep it moving. You don't want figures. You want sneakers. I don't know. Is it is it my choice? It is my choice. <laughs> Toys it is. Bam! Batman v Superman, Nightmare Batman, although this is not the premium figure, so this is uh, whatever that says. I, I can't read it backwards. And the screen is very small right here. Blast Attack Batman, that's what it is. My friend Derek actually got me this. I saw this when he was doing a toy hunting video on his channel, and he totally went by this figure, and I was like, yo, what are you doing, man? You just passed all the good sh He and I clearly have different tastes in action figures. But he went back and he grabbed it for me, so big thank you to you. If you haven't checked out his channel, you can do so right down here in the description box. And since that was Batman v Superman, we gotta keep it kinda in that theme. So I'll just show you the rest of that stuff that I got. Bam, 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 damn, three. These are not the giantest figures that they have. Giantest, the largest. I've seen some bigger ones over at Toys R Us. Yes. That's what she said. But I ran into these at Target and um, I can't do the big ones. I can't take them. 
That might also be what she said. I got nowhere to put them, basically. That could also be what she said. I gotta stop this. It's gone too far. But as you guys know, I'm a huge Batman fan. So I had to get, I just had to get them. And then when I got one, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, uh, kind of like Pokemon. You know what I mean? Like you got one, now you got to get them all. This one actually looks like Henry Cavill though. So thank goodness I don't have a life-size version of John Travolta. Cause that would be weird. But check them out, man. Look at those boobs. And you can't forget Batfleck. I'm Batman. Do you bleed? You will. And this one's my favorite. I like armor suit Batman, but nothing beats the classic one. You know what I mean? Like the, just the regular basic bat suit. This is awesome. Absolutely love it. Love the details. Look at this dude. Like this guy's gonna be f***ing some shit up in this movie, man. It's gonna be so much fun to watch this movie. I, I cannot wait. I am literally jonesing for Batman v Superman. Every time I see a little commercial on TV, I'm just like, come on, dude, just release it now. <sighs> Batflick, I think I love you. Okay. Now we'll open up some sneakers. Got some weights here, so you know where those are from. Sunlight Station, yes sir. You can also use my promo code to there, which is Nightwing2303 in their comment or promo code box. You will get a small discount on your shipping, and I'll also send you a bunch of nice free goodies. So we'll take a look. Got a beanie here, and it says Kanye, even though my name is Chris. So I think they sent this to the wrong person. And you can't have a leaning package without some matching socks. And here we go. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but it is starting to rain outside and it sounds like somebody is taking a piss right outside my window. So if you can hear that, it's not me, okay? It's the rain. But here we go. Leaning Wavoid 4, this is the screw colorway. Screw, I don't even know what that's about. If you know, let me know, cause I don't know. That's the tongue there, that synthetic patent leather is back. Personally, not my favorite look on these shoes. I feel like it just is a little tacky looking, but this pair does have my favorite materials on it, which are the mesh. I love the way these feel, love the way that they play. They're super comfortable. This one's completely solid on the outsole. So if you were looking for a pair to play in, this might be that colorway. And I believe these are still available over at sunlightstation.com as well. Super comfortable shoe. If you haven't seen the performance review already, Ready, then you're missing out because this is a dope sneaker. It was actually one of my top picks. I think it was in my top five of 2015. Another sneaker or some more toys. I have an epic package right here. I cannot wait to open this. It is something that I've been waiting for for a very long time. Oh, 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 oh. I've finished the set. Finally. Man, it's taken me a minute to get all of these toys, but I finally got the last two that I needed and I am super Super happy. Now I kind of want to open them all because on the back here it shows that you can make their little power weapon when all of their weapons combine. But I'm not. I'm going to keep these in the package just the way that they are. These were hella hard to find, dude. Like these two might have been the hardest figures I've ever searched for. But I finally got them. I'm going to go right over there next to my bay, Kimberly. And we'll keep it moving. Got a pair of sneakers here. Size 10 and a half. What? There has been some changes on the website, weartesters.com, in case you haven't been there in a minute. Not only did we launch a brand new layout of the site, which looks amazing, but I've also shared responsibility with the other staff members. So, no longer am I going to be doing every single performance review because it's literally taking a toll on my body. I'm 32 and I feel like I'm almost 40. And it's just not feasible, it's not healthy. I mean, it's healthy to a point, but it can be excessive uh, as far as the injuries and all that stuff. So um, basically, I'm going to be just taking care of the signature models, and then I'm gonna be taking all of the other, the random shoes, like the team shoes and things like that. I'm gonna be buying them myself for the other staff members. I'll review the shoe for you guys. That way you know my thoughts on the sneaker. And what I mean by that is just like the tech breakdown, all that stuff, because I'm kind of like the sneaker nerd, you know what I mean? And then after I'm done with the shoe, I'm gonna send it off to the appropriate reviewer or tester that I've picked to, to wear test that sneaker. And by that, I mean that I picked the best person possible for that shoe. So if I feel that, you know, this tester is great for this shoe and then that tester is great for that shoe, that's who those shoes are gonna be going to. So if you trust me and you trust me in my reviews or my previous performance reviews then just trust me that I know who you know I'm sending these to I'm sending them to the right people they're gonna get a proper review just like they would have for me it's just gonna be from somebody else and I think it's gonna be great these are gonna be for uh, Duke uh, Brian and it's these bad boys right here this is the Under Armour fire shot this is a brand new sneaker I don't I don't know what the name of this colorway is I know it's got a nickname and stuff but I really don't care I will do a separate video on these as well so be patient for that but I think this colorway is badass dude that navy and the gold 
and underneath this is reflective, super sick. That traction looks iffy, but again, I'll make a separate review. And you got Micro G, Micro G's back, man. I, I enjoy their charge cushion, but Micro G is the shit, dude. Like, I don't know why they switch it up. That's just me personally. And you got this comp fit, you know, sleeve back here. I think these are gonna be pretty cool. It's a it's a budget friendly model, but it's not quite $100. I think it was a little bit more than that. It's like 120 or something. I think that these would be perfect at that 90 to $100 range, but you know, what do I know? I don't work for the brand. So these are going to Duke. I will do a separate video in case you are interested on all of this uh, tech here, but there's the unboxing for the shoe. Just a few more toys. This is a brand new series that's coming out. I think it's a web series and it's called DC Superhero Girls. So this is Supergirl here. And you got Poison Ivy even though she's a villain. You got Harley Quinn as well. You got Wonder Woman as well as Batgirl. This one's actually my favorite. Go figure. And it's a figure. Pun. <laughs> Very punny. And again this is a, a new series that's coming out. They've got comics, they've got cartoons, all that stuff and I didn't buy these for me even though I do kind of want to keep them. But I bought these for my daughter. When she was born, we named her after this kid right here, Supergirl. So I had to get her the Barbie version as well. And a little fun fact, I own every single Supergirl action figure known to man. Action figure, not bust or, or statue or anything like that, but the actual figures, I own them all because like I said, I named my daughter after Supergirl. And so when I did that, I went and anytime I saw a Supergirl action figure, I just bought it. So we own all of them, including these ones now. So I hope she likes them. And again, I really wanna, I don't wanna keep this one. I like these ones, like I like action figures. I don't like dolls. But I just thought I'd share, if you have a, a little girl at home and you're into snoop, snooper, <laughs> superheroes and all that kind of good stuff, you know, the nerd stuff, you can share your passion with them now because they have female or girl oriented uh, content that they're now gonna be pushing towards them. So I think it's pretty cool and uh, you know, I had to grab them all. I had to, I just, they were all there. I grabbed them all, F it. Last item, a pair of Jordans, size 11. Again, not mine. And it's the Jordan Rising High. This is a team model from Jordan brand and it features the unlock zoom, the flight speed system. You'll never guess how much I paid for these, dude. This shoe retails for 120 bucks. I just decided to go to the outlet one day and they were there for $30. What the fuck? That's crazy. Talk about bang for your buck. They had a full size run too. So I grabbed these. These are gonna be for Zach. If you don't know who Zach is, he has his own YouTube channel as does Brian, as I mentioned earlier. And again, we're changing the review format. So all of my testers are are gonna be testing the shoes that I really wouldn't be getting to. Or if I did get to them, it just would be a shoe where I'm just like, okay, fine, you want a review, here you go. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna be doing those and now giving them to the other testers. Separate review will be on this in case you wanna know my thoughts on it. And this is gonna open up my time as well. Not only will I have more time with my family, I'll have more time to test other sneakers that I just feel like testing myself, maybe finish the Air Jordan project finally. You know what I mean? So little things like that. And uh, these shoes don't really need a review from me. They just need to be reviewed by a, a competent wear tester and luckily wear testers is full of competent wear testers. But if you're not a wear tester on weartesters.com, well then. So here you go real quick, fully synthetic, flight speed, unlock zoom, jump man on the tongue, jump man on the heel. Separate video on these guys coming soon. Super steel man, 30 bucks, crazy. But yeah, I had been recommending this shoe even without testing it because I remember seeing it in the store and being like, oh, those are pretty dope for you know the price and everything. They're gonna be durable. They got the unlock zoom in there. You can't go wrong. That traction pattern looks beastly, but nobody wants to buy these. They just wanna buy the, the Jordan 30s and stuff even though Jordan brand has really good shoes that don't cost 200 bucks and they use the same tech. Go figure. All right, guys, that pretty much takes care of it. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. If you're interested in anything that you saw here, links will be in the description box below. At least most of the links. I probably won't link some of the toys and stuff because it's hard to find those things. Stay tuned for more videos, and uh, that's pretty much it. So until next time, guys, have a good one.